Hello everybody, welcome back, Belinda here. I'm going to be doing a little bit different colours today and I'm, <laughs> I'm a little unsure how that's going to turn out. Um, right, so the colours I'm using, I'll run through quickly, is Burnt Sienna, Liquitex Basics White, Crystal Green, that's Deco Art, Metallic. I have a um, bit of gold in here, which I'm just reusing these tubs. Um, I also have, hmm, I think it's, it's a bit of a mustardy color that I made up myself. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using that. And Dark Serene Purple, which is Liquitex Basics. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, and I'm going to lay, um, go ahead and lay down my paint, and I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys. Um, hmm. <laughs> what colour do I put down first? Good question. Let's go with the purple, or the dark serene purple. Just covering up some blank spots there. And then I think I will put um. Um, let's try this gold first. So this is not the 24 karat gold. This is, uh, I think this is the PBO gold, which I just put in this bottle. And then I'll go in with the green. And hopefully I'm not being heavy handed again. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for all your comments, liking, subscribing. Um, please don't forget to hit the notification bell and put it on all. I'd really appreciate that. Um, I'm just wondering if I should use this. Maybe just a bit. So this is that mustard color. It's pretty much um, quite similar to the gold. Okay, so I'll give that a torch. And I really like this brown actually. I'm not a fan of brown, but this brown is actually really, really nice. You do have to be quite careful with it because it can change to pink <laughs> for some re weird reason. I'm not sure why. If you guys know why, leave me a comment and tell me why that is. Okay, let's uh, blow this out.
love that. I do feel though that this is a little bit um, flat. It's actually very pretty. So I'm going to try and blow this a bit, just a little bit. Yeah, <clears throat> so that is much better. I love these cells here. The metallic that's coming through is amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and torch this here. See what else I can get to come up. bring you in for a close-up. And guys, don't forget, I'm just going to um, run my finger along the side and along the bottom. So you want to get all those drips off. If you don't take those drips off, it's going to pull your painting off. So everything will just slide right off on wherever. So you do need to do this. Do it a couple of times. I normally do it like maybe two or three times while it's setting. And guys, if you're interested in any of my artwork, you can contact me on with Bade at gmail.com I am going to be having an auction one of these days um, and I'll let you know when that is going to happen but in the meantime I'm going to bring you in for a close-up hi right, guys this is it um, I know you're probably not going to be able to see the metallic at the moment but it really is lovely very very colorful I would not have thought that the brown would have given such an amazing effect I really like those cells that have popped up And the longer it sits for drying, um, you know, the paint does sink a bit and then of course the cells pop up more and the colours pop through more as well. I've got this one over here. Excuse the studio light guys. I'm trying to work around it. It is winter now, and um, therefore it is pretty dark. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I love the way that came out there. Alright guys, um, again, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all of your support. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.